Anybody want to brag on the Lord a little bit tonight? Amen. He's been so good to us all. Amen. I, I have one. <laughs> the Lord has been so good to me. He has been so good to me. He has Absolutely amazing. I've never felt the presence of God as strongly as I did yesterday morning, and I'll never forget it. I want to praise Him for it, and I want to thank Him for allowing me to go. Amen. I want to say I love Him. 
Has anybody got any prayer requests tonight? For my brother's salvation and my mother. Okay. Johnny, remember Stanley. Yes. Pray for the loss of my family and remember Alice. Yes. They told Melissa that she got to go home this morning, and then they come in this morning, started an IV, and gave her magnesium, two bags of it. And uh, they went to go to a cardiologist, and they wanted her to have a stress test. And she told him, she said, there's no way I can walk. She said, I'm in a boot. So they're eventually, I don't know when it will take place or anything, they're going to have to do that nu nuclear mm -hmm. um, one order. So just hold her up. She needs to, she's where she needs to be. So they can really do a good checkup on her. And, um, and everyone's asked about mom and dad. I got there right after church today. And they was just, I don't know which one was so tired. They don't leave each other. First, mommy does a drive. And Norman likes her to be in the car when he drives. So they're getting up there and they've got some health problems. Yeah. So. Anybody else? Can't remember Jerry and Jeremy. Okay. Turn the hymn books to page 400. <coughs> Fellowship with one another and gather around the altar.
coming up. Be here in what, three weeks? Remember um, Brittany, the girl I worked with that just had her baby early. Remember this one? Remember my daughter, Kim. She's going to be operating on Thursday. Remember this request? Yeah, Cheryl and Harry. Cheryl and Harry. Yeah, Cheryl and Harry. For the bud as well. Mm -hmm. There's 421 young men graduated from the Great Lakes uh, boot camp up there in the Navy. One of them was Austin Tanner, or Austin, what's the last name? Austin Kennedy. Kennedy. But anyway, these young men are stepping out to serve the Lord, or serve the country. And, uh, it'll take, you know, I, I know from experience, it'll take. God's help from the mm -hmm. yes. get through the service. But anyway, we need to praise the men and women that step up and uh, make their sacrifice their time and their life just for this privilege that we have. To, we take it so granted that we're allowed to come and into the house of God and worshiping in spirit and truth. Mm -hmm. One of these days, it so be like over some of them other countries. Mm -hmm. It'll be against the law to carry a Bible. Yep. That is? Remember service, my son. Yes. Unspoken request? Dave, you want to leave something? Thank you, Father. 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 Thank you, Father
I really should sing 562 because we don't have a piano player, we don't have no music Wednesday night. And Dot wanted us to sing this song. Well, we had sang Amazing Grace before this, so we sang this song because I couldn't pick it out. <laughs> Precious Lord, take my hand. Huh? <coughs> That's what I had to sing.
anybody got a song or a testimony for us tonight? John, I'm going to stand and just thank the Lord for saving me and thanks for what served me. As in, you know, the older it gets, the more you realize you know, His mercy and His grace and His love. And I said, you know, I just I thank Him for what you Yes. Amen. Now, Nora, no, I know the Lord's done something for us. Oh, I want to thank the Lord for giving all praise. For, you know, saving grace, His healing grace, His keeping grace. Uh, for His guidance and deliverance. And he delivers me with, you know, and all His children He delivers with, you know, the, the guidance. And He shows us, you know, when there seems like there may not be a way, He uh, opens up the door and makes a way for us. Mm -hmm. Praise God. You know, we, we can trust in the Lord and serve Him, and He'll be true to us. He'll never, he'll never forsake us or leave from the Lord leave us. I thank God for His grace. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? I know the Lord's been good to me. He uh, didn't get saved till just a little over a year ago. But, hey, he brought me through three heart attacks even before I got saved. So, he's out there. He'll take care of you. you know, all you got to do is let him. Sue, so, you got a song? Anybody got testimony? She sang. Huh? She sang. Somebody surely got something to say.
testimony or something. were low their steps were slow as they walked along that long Emmaus road then a man appeared and as he drew near he said why are you so sad are things really that bad they said sir have you not heard you must be a stranger in this town cause the one who came in the Father's name He has been cut down The latest body in the ground As they walked and talked They began to explain About this Jesus Why He came He opened the scripture And began to teach the preacher of preachers, he began to preach. In the wilderness, the children had nothing there to eat. But manna from heaven fell down at their feet. When they were dry and thirsty in a foreign land, living water came forth out of a rock in the sand. When the three Hebrew children were thrown in the flames, a fourth man appeared, they even called him by name. The manna, the water, the man, they're all the same. If you're still confused, let me say this real plain. It was me. It was me. I'm the one you left back there at Calvary. It was me. Who do you think I 
among the stars in the sky Who do you think made the day and the night? Who made the flowers? Who made the trees? Who made the sun and the moon and the seas? Who gives life to all who believe? Who do you think made the blind to see? Who made the very air that you breathe? Who defeated death and won the victory? It was me. me. I'm the one who died for you at Calvary. It was me. Anybody else got yeah, something? Say, That's I praise the Lord. I had a testimony this morning, but I've got one tonight. You know, I'm so thankful that he thought of me. I don't right. know why he saved me, but he did. And he had to go way down in the barrel to get me. It took me a long time to get to him. But I'm so thankful that Bless Jesus don't give up on us. What Amen. would we do if he wasn't there when the troubles come? What would we do if we have a loved one we don't know what tomorrow holds with them? But you can say, Lord, I need you, and he comforts you. Uh, other, we can do a lot for one another, John. Mm -hmm. We can pray and we can comfort, but nothing like the Lord Jesus That's Christ right. can. And Amen. I'm so thankful for that today. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? Amen. If you're all done, stand with us. We call the pastor. Pastor, sing your song. Sing your song, man. Y'all step back here. Let's do the thing to the calendar. Is that all right? I'm a glad for Calvary. One of my favorite hymns is the old Red Cross. On that hill far away, he died in my place. Amen. I, I was blessed tonight in our prayer back here in this room before we even started tonight. And it, I think it's been a good place to be. I don't think God's done with this service yet. Amen. I'm looking forward to preaching to you tonight. Go ahead. the door 
I said, oh, my precious little girl, don't you be afraid, you've got a brand new daddy. Thanks to Calvary, I don't live here anymore. Thanks to Calvary, I am not the dad I used to be. Thanks to Calvary, things are different than before. While the tears ran down my face, I tried to tell my little girl. Thanks to Calvary, I don't In Job chapter 19 tonight, Job chapter 19, just want to read one verse to you and go from there. I have a lot of different things running through my mind tonight, different places that God is taking us into Scripture, and uh, tonight we'll uh, preach on that letter R, on taking charge of the family. I believe today that uh, the... the uh, idea of the family or what we would call a home today has been sold out by the things of the world, by the lust of the flesh, by the pride of life, sold out on the altar of convenience. But I thank God today, amen, there's still, still God still believes in the family, amen. Listen what he said in Job chapter 19 verse 25, he said, for I know that my Redeemer liveth, that he shall stand at the latter day upon this earth. Father, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for your mercy, for your grace. I thank you, God, for the hope that we have in you, Lord. And I pray tonight, God, for a few minutes, hide us behind the cross of Calvary, Lord. Thank you for the wonderful presence that we feel among us tonight. Use us all for thy glory, we pray in Jesus' name. And amen. You may be seated tonight. Amen. I, I thought tonight as uh, this scripture came to us uh, as we was meditating and studying earlier, amen, I thought about this. Amen. It's about the redemption of the home, amen. I mentioned there just a few minutes ago how that I feel that family has been sold out, amen. Listen, society has sold it out uh, through the magazines that they publish, uh, uh, through the programs that they pu uh, place on the television, amen. Listen, every to where we turn, uh, the family's under attack, but I want you to know, uh, amen, there is a way, there's still hope uh, for the family here in America, my friend. And that hope is found in the rock of ages. There's an R word for you. Amen. This un uh, unmovable, this and unchanging is steadfast today, my friend. I realize that society, uh, the way of living has changed. Amen. It's a lot different. Amen. I just, again, I'll soon be 50 years old and things are a lot different than what they was when I was a little boy. But I'm glad that the Word of God is unchanging. I'm glad that God looked down through time and He saw the disarray that the home would be in. Amen. And He purchased us. Amen. The poor redeemed, by the way, it means to purchase or to buy back. I thought about as I was sitting there and then listening to the singing earlier. And then I thought about a prophet in the Word of God. And then listen to the high Hosea. Amen. God told Hosea, I said, go down to the, and take you into the heart for wife. Amen. God knew the heartache. And God knew the sorrow that he would go through. But God knew the love that God would place in his heart for his wife. But we know the story. There was three children born into that home. And every one of those children had a name that meant a curse. Amen. But finally, amen. Listen, Hosea his wife left him. His children went down pleading with their mother and in the direction of their father to come back home. And listen, and she just kept saying,
sinking lower and lower in sin. And finally one day he heard that there was going to be a sale. And he went down to the marketplace. And there stood the wife that he loved. Amen. Listen, that had sold herself out. There she stood ragged. Amen. Listen, no doubt dressed in rags. Amen. Listen, that probably wasn't much to look at at that time. Her body bruised and broken. Amen. Listen, but Hosea loved her. Amen. Listen, he began to be had. And you know what, brother? He be in whatever it cost. He paid whatever it took. Amen. To get her back. Do you realize when Hosea did that? Amen. Listen, the Bible tells me that God is a repairer of the breach. There's a narrow word for you. You see the home that was broken. The home that was separated because the one that had went astray. Amen. And lived in adultery and fornication. Maybe for years. The scripture doesn't tell us how long. Amen. But when that home, amen, was brought back together in love. Let me tell you what God did for that home. God changed every name of those three children from a curse to a blessing. What are you saying, preacher? I'm saying that God is still able to make a change. I realize things happen. Amen. Listen, it looks like children. Amen. Don't seemingly have a hope in this world. But I'm glad there's a hope. Amen. In the resurrection. There's a R word for you. And that hope is Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, our Savior, our Sacrifice. Oh, praise His wonderful name. I don't know about you. Amen. But I preached it this way in time. Amen. God saw me unfit and unworthy. Amen. Listen, I stray out in the world and he went. Amen. Listen, and he paid the price. Amen. To buy me back. Thank God for the Redeemer that purchased us. Amen. Not with corruptible things as silver and gold. You see why? The redemption of our soul was precious in the eyes of God. I want you to know today, brother, that God doesn't make any junk. Amen. Listen. Amen. Listen. That God didn't reform us. Amen. But he transformed us. Amen. By the renewing of our mind into a new creature, into a new family. Hey, listen. Just like Hosea's kids. Amen. They got a brand new name. Amen. Through that redemption. I want you to realize there's coming a day. I read in the book of Revelation. Amen. That God's going to give us a brand new name written down on a white stone. Amen. That only he and I will know. Listen, brother. The redemption of our soul is precious today. And it's time that we stand and reclaim. Amen. There's an R word for you. Amen. What the devil took from us. Amen. If the devil's taken your husband or your wife, it's time we stand. Preach the word that we start standing at. Amen. Listen. On the solid rock. Oh, glory tonight. If we'll stand on the word of God, again, that's unchangeable, that's forever settled in heaven. I'm a firm believer today. Amen. What the devil's taken. Amen. We can get it back. I'm reminded there in the scripture. If I remember right in the book of Zechariah, amen, they went out. And listen, he began to search for the sheep. Amen. Listen, that the wolf had come in. And the only thing left was a leg. Amen. Listen, a piece of ear and a leg off of that. Can I tell you? He snatched it out of the mouth. Amen. Listen, and brought it back. Hey, listen. Wait. But you may think there's nothing left. There's nothing salvageable. But I want you to understand. Amen. Listen, brother. When God made man, amen, there was nothing to start with except dust out of the ground. And if God can raise a man up out of the dust, God can restore a home. God can restore a marriage. God can restore a backslidden or a wandering child. Oh, listen. We put again, we put our God in that little white box. And then we take him out. We rub that box like a genie. God, I need you. I need you. I need this or I need that. I want you to realize heaven is his throne. We need to give him the due reverence. There's a word for you tonight. If we respect God and reverence God, amen, listen, that which was dead, amen, listen, will be revived. There's another R word for you. Amen. The writer said, The Lord will thou revive us again. I want you to know God's ready and willing and able to revive pure and free will. A Baptist church, if we'll get on our feet and get our hands in the air, hallelujah. I believe the rain from heaven will start falling. Amen. 
and listen and we can shout the praises of God those wandering sheep will be restored and they'll be brought back home amen he said if my people which are called by my name will unto themselves and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways and that word turn means Oh listen, hey, listen, God's already right. God's already ready. Oh, brother, the price is already paid. What are we waiting for? Amen. Except go get the wandering and bring it back home today. Amen. Hallelujah tonight. I realize Hosea being a prophet. Amen. He probably didn't have a lot of money. If I understand history right about Hosea, he was just an old poor farmer. Amen again. Let me tell you how to make a million dollars farm. Start with two and quit when you get to one. Amen. If it's anything like what it is today, that's probably how I picture it was then. Amen. Why? I just see my favorite things going good and something breaks down. Am I right, Johnny? Amen. When you get one step forward, all of a sudden you take two back. Listen, brother, it's constant. But can I tell you today, amen, listen, if we'll put forth a little bit of effort, God will take our little bit and multiply it. And can I tell you that every, listen, you can go out and start picking up a 10-pound weight. Amen. Listen, the first few times as you curl that thing up, amen, listen, your arm is going to get Tired real soon. Hey Amen. But every day, Brother Johnny, if you keep picking that thing up, before you know it, it's not easy at all to lift it up. What are you saying, preacher? I'm saying, listen. Hey Amen. Old habits are easy to break, brother. If you'll start a new one today and read the Word of God, there's an R word for you. Hey Amen. Read the Word of God daily. Hey Amen. Listen, repent daily. Hey Amen. Revive daily. Get up and rejoice. There's an R word for you. Bible said, let to redeem. How many redeemed we got in here? Did I wave at the Lord? Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Hallelujah. I don't know about you. I feel like running. Oh, glory. Hallelujah tonight. He's good to us, my friend. I don't know why anybody wouldn't want to serve this God that we serve and that redeemed us with his own son today. Oh, hallelujah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you sick and tired, amen, of being rejected? Are you tired of being repressed? Amen, what that word pressed means pushed back. Amen, listen, again, seem like we take one forward and something pushes us two back. Oh, listen, I don't understand. Amen, listen, people that just want to show up once in a while. Amen, listen, I can't worry about them. I ain't got time. Amen, to them that want to play with God. But I listen, brother, do you few, do you few here tonight that's faithful, there's 40. If I can, I'm right about 42 of us here tonight. Can I tell you, when God 42. Hey Amen. Listen, if one shall chase a hundred, oh, listen what he said. He said a hundred shall chase 10,000. That means we can chase about 4,200 in here tonight. What are you saying? If we, hey Amen, will raise up, hey Amen, and lift up the bloodstained banner and wave it to the world and let the world know how good it is here in the house of God, how that we'd rather have Jesus. And let the world go by. We can rejoice and we'll rejoice when they come in today. Amen. 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 Here's an R word for you. Ain't a person in here that don't have regrets. Amen. Amen. We've got regrets before we came to Christ. <laughs> and we've got regrets since we came to Christ. Amen. I'm going to tell you today, but thank God we're redeemed. Amen. Here's an R word for you. Amen. My record is on high. You know what? My record is clear today because Jesus' blood cleansed me from all sin. 
and all unrighteousness. And here's an R word for you. He made me righteous in the eyes of my Father God today. Therefore, I'm going to lift up these feeble hands. Amen. Listen, the Bible says strengthen. Here's an R word for you. I preached on a little bit this morning. Strengthen those that remain. I think that's what God's doing to tonight. Amen. You just feel like I've been on charge in this building. Of services lately, I'll be honest with you. Amen. Listen, I've been lacking something. Picture what we've been lacking. The movement of the Holy Ghost. Ghost. Amen. Well, I don't know why we just seem content on setting. Amen. When we can rejoice, when we can listen, lift him up and praise him and sing the songs of Zion, and we can shout. I don't know why we contend and sit and looking at one another. You say, preacher, it ain't any shout, but no, there's a shout in it today. Amen. 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 Are you ready? Here's an R word for you. Are you ready? You see, the Bible said, Behold, we're like a man in be- looking into a looking glass and walking away and forgetting the reflection of what he saw. I don't know about you, but I remember what I used to be. I don't want to go back there. Amen. Amen. I don't want to return. Amen. But what I want to do is press forward. Again, toward the mark and the prize and the high calling of God is in Christ Jesus. Listen, brother, here's an R word for you. He get ready to rapture us out of here. I want to take everybody I can. I want to take every child. I want to take every teenager. I want to ever take every young adult. I want to take every middle-aged adult. I want to ever take every man, old man and old woman. I want to see them all go to heaven, brother. Oh, I don't want to see anybody left behind. We need to make sure we're doing our due diligence to make sure they're ready. Rapture ready today. Are you ready? You see, remember our verse? Remember our verse, Romans 8 and 31. For if God be for us, who can be against us? Philippians 4 and 13. I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. How many says I can tonight? Amen. How many says I can? How many says, Pastor, by the grace of God, I will? I will raise up. I will let my voice be heard. I will be numbered among the living today. I want the world to know that I'm alive in Christ forevermore. I've done died out to sin. I've done wrongs in the newness of life. And I'm ready. Should he come my way, I'm ready today. Amen. Here am I. Remember Isaiah, when he got touched with the fire off the altar, I feel like God's touched us tonight. I don't know about you. I felt his presence among us. Lord, here am I. Send me. What do you mean, preacher? I'm saying, now listen, vacation Bible school's coming. Lord, here am I. Send me. We've got all these other services, all these other things going on. Here am I. Send me. I don't want to be part of a dead church. Listen, my friend. If we're not going to be obedient to the Spirit of God, then what business we're not doing here tonight? Don't do us a bit of good if we just come, sing three songs, have prayer requests and handshake, gather around the altar, pray, choir, sing two songs, two solos, preacher, go home. Where's our rejoicing? Where's our praise? Where's our praise at? Has the devil stolen our song? Has the devil stolen our testimony? Amen. We need to take it back. Oh, listen, we need to reclaim again that which is ours. I don't know about you, amen. I want to be closer to God in the morning than what I am right now because I know I'm closer to, I'll be closer to death in the morning than what I am right now. I may be dead in the morning. I don't know that. But I know this, for me to live as Christ, for me to die is gain. But while I'm here, I plan on rejoicing in His name. Why? Because I'm redeemed. I'm redeemed. If God be for us, who can be against us? Reclaiming the family. You know, as a pastor, sometimes you're called upon to counsel people in trouble. Let me say this most of the time, 
There's only one willing party even though both of them come. One's already got their mind made up. You can show them in the Scriptures what the Scripture says they need to do and they won't do it. <laughs> this book don't lie. <laughs> this book don't fail. What fails is a failure to abide by this book. If we regard iniquity, there's a word for you, regard. If we regard in our iniquity in our heart, who will stand for us? Think about that. Who's going to stand on our behalf if we're going to regard? That word regard means to hold to, look to, cling to. If I'm going to cling, you can't hang on to the world and plan on rejoicing in Christ, folks. If there's something in your life tonight that's hindering you from growing, let it go. Come on. Let it go. Give it up. You remember the old song? I think it was a happy good man. Give up. Let Jesus take over. Give up. Let Jesus take over. Give up. Let Jesus take over. And He will make a way for you. Remember that? I know these young kids are like, what in the world is he saying? I remember it. Can I tell you today, if I'm running my life, it will fail. Remember one of the things I mentioned for you that were here this morning? The steps of a good man are ordered by God. He is our reference. He is our leader. He's our guide. My, my, my. Be ready to rejoice. Are you ready to take back? I sit on this pew right here. Back in January 2013, several others were gathered around here. Dave resided over the meeting. This was Dave J. John's exact words to me in that first part of that meeting with the elder board of this church. At one time, we had it really good at this church. And we've lost it. And we want it back. Huh? Do you still want it? Oh, I can't hear you. Do you still want it? Do you still want it? Are you ready to go out and take it back? Are you ready? Oh, come on. Some of y'all getting weak tonight. Are you ready? Are you ready to stand up and say, I'm here, Lord. Send me. Revive me, Lord. Make me a fit subject to go out. Because I'm telling you, if you make yourself available, God's got a work for you to do. There are people that are hurting. There are people that are dying. There are people that are starving. Our, again, our young generation is starving for attention. I'm a firm believer. I preached this Thursday night down Faith Valley. I'm a firm believer that if we would stand up and unite, amen, listen, lay aside our doctrinal differences and join together with other brothers and sisters regardless of what the name is over the door and reunite as the army of God that we are and raise up our voices. I believe that there could come a shout, amen, that would shake Jackson and Vinton County to the core if the people of God would praise him and give him his reverence and do as he deserves today. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, preacher, you don't sound like Baptist. Amen. Good preaching, Good I'm a Christian. Amen. I've got Christian brothers all over this state, all over this country. We've got fine people that I've met that love the Lord. Can I tell you today, we've got to stand today. Amen. If we don't stand right now, if we don't come back together and regroup, there's an R word for you. If we don't come back together as regroup, and I want to go on record and say this while I'm at it. Amen. Listen, I am proud as could be. Amen. Of the way our church supported the revival down at that little church down there. You don't know what a blessing you was, and maybe some of you do. Amen. To that little group of people. Amen. Listen, can you imagine always only coming in and having 10 or 12 or 15 at the most that seem like all that I'd ever have? 
Brother, can I tell you today, we're blessed in this bunch of people right here. And we are proud of you today for the effort that you put forth. But it's time that we raise up our voices and be heard and let the devil know today we are coming. And we are coming not in dousing words, but in the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And letting God rule and reign today. Now I'm going to say this, he ain't going to let us do that without a fight. If we think we're going to go out and reclaim our children, our grandchildren, the backsliders, he ain't going to let them go without a fight. Oh, but greater is he that's within us than he that's in the world. Remember, one of you shall chase a hundred a hundred of you shall chase ten thousand, if I remember, ten thousand and a hundred, ten thousand, I think is the way that went in that progression that he proclaimed there in the Word of God. And if God said it, I'm just dumb enough to believe, amen, that one could run a hundred off. And then these people that don't want to serve God, and then we need to let them know we ain't a back it up no more. And then I wish I, I wish our president could read this. Barack Hussein Obama, I want you to know we're not going to respect Amen. Listen, anything else you say about this transgender and gay policies, amen, our children, amen, are going to be taught, amen, the political correct way of the Bible that a man is a man and a woman is a woman and everything else God hates. Amen. Amen. Tag Barack Obama in that if you would. You put that thing online. My, my, my. I'm tired of the political bull that's going on pushing these things down our throat. Trying to tell me that we don't need the Bible when we were founded upon the Bible. Amen. The very history books. Amen. The very first history book. I made mention this other day. This was the first textbook of our public schools. Amen. And our first colleges in this country today. Amen. The first universities, you know what they were? They were seminaries where men and women were taught the Word of God. Amen. Listen, they might go out and teach somebody else. Amen. But we've had a bunch of idiots come in. Amen. The fact that they're smart. The Bible said the fool has said in his heart that there is no God. And if you tell me there is no God, that means you're a fool today. Let's stand. Maybe you want to come right now. Hit this altar. Say, here am I, Lord. Here am I. Send me. Maybe here's another word for you. Maybe you want to come rededicate yourself. Amen. Just to make sure everything's all right between you and God. Say, Lord, here am I. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Lord, I'm ready to work. I'm ready to sing. I'm ready to witness. Lord, I'm ready to do whatever you have me to do. Amen. Why? There's doors that need knocked on. There's people that need called. Amen. There's hospitals that need visited. Amen. There's sick that needs attended to. Oh, preacher, that's your job. No, brother. That's not just my job. That's your job. Can I tell you today? Amen. We need to go out and bring the blind in, the lame, the whole. Why? Because the healer, amen, is in the house of God. Amen. If we'll give it to Jesus, Jesus can handle the rest of it today. So many around us are bound by afflictions, bound by drugs. I serve a God that can break every chain. If you want to pray tonight, this altar is open. To number 267. tonight. Are you ready? Are you ready? Hallelujah. The Lord is good and great tonight. God have mercy on Jesus and my Lord. God have mercy tonight, Lord. Touch my brothers and my sisters, Lord. Strengthen us, Lord. Help us to stand. Help us to be that beacon. 
and the shining light. Give us a voice, Lord. Let your love shine through us, God that we can and proclaim the truth and proclaim it in love not of envy or strife but in love oh Jesus that your name might be glorified to be tonight. Amen. I hope y'all felt half what I felt. Amen. If y'all did, y'all felt pretty good. Amen. <laughs> Spirit strong among us tonight. Don't forget youth group tomorrow night at 6.30. If you're able to get out and help, please pray for our sick and our afflicted and shut-ins. Those that are facing surgery, uh, their daughter's having surgery Thursday. Bud has surgery the 31st. Uh, Sister Cheryl just uh, a few days ago there had that stent replaced. So we'll miss them this weekend. Hope everything all right. I haven't heard from them. Pray one for another. Again, let me say something. The devil ain't going to tell you to do anything except lay on the couch. If God leads you to get up and call somebody, call them. Leads you to, you're driving down the road, God says, stop and see somebody. He don't mean tomorrow. Oh, but preacher, I'm already running late. You might, might be too late coming back. Amen. They might have passed away and you done missed out on the opportunity. Yes. Let's be encouraged. Amen. I still feel like our best days are ahead. Amen. Oh, come on. Amen. Do you believe that or not? How many believe that? Amen. Our best days lie ahead of us. Again, if God be for us, ain't nobody can be against us today. Amen. Don't forget uh, youth camp is coming up starting June the 5th through the 10th. Again, we need to get start signing the kids up for that. And then Vacation Bible School is the 13th through the 17th. And uh, we're working uh, toward that. You need to sign up on back if you haven't already. There's a ladies' retreat. We can get rid of that stuff. Oh, but not what we learned. Praise the Lord. <laughs> we can get rid of the literature about going. Thank God for you, the opportunity. We uh, have enough in our hearts and minds. To... <laughs> amen. All right. The State Association meeting also is the 24th and 25th. 23rd is the general board meeting, and uh, uh, that's just for the board. But the Friday and Saturday, 23rd and 24th, or 24th, 25th, it's Friday morning, Friday night, and Saturday morning. If anybody would want to go see me, and I'll make sure you get there, all right? Anything else? Well, praise the Lord, dear. Here we go. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord!